Hey guys, so today I'm going to give a tutorial on how to use the software application Anki. This is specifically aimed at people who are doing a maths degree, but it will also apply to anyone who wants to use Anki to learn maths as well. Anki is a flashcard app that uses active recall, so the recalling of memories to help you remember, and there's lots of studies that have shown that the action of recalling a memory means you're more likely to remember it. And Anki is even more intelligent because it tries to guess when you're just about to forget the fact you want to remember and then it makes you recall it then and the harder you have to work to recall the memory the more likely you are to remember it okay so let's get into it first thing you're going to need to do is go to your browser and search anki web and then open anki web and we're going to create an account so sign up this is important because you want to keep your you want to have your flashcards stored in the cloud so you need an account for this so let's do university maths tutorials gmail.com university and then set that password and sign up And then scroll down, accept the terms and conditions. Okay, you're gonna to want to confirm your email. I'm gonna leave this for now. And then next thing you wanna do is search for Anki in your web browser this time. And just go to the normal website and click download. Right, once it's downloaded, you're gonna to want to find, find the app on your computer and open it up. So this is what Anki looks like. The first thing we need to do is to log in so that all of our flashcards are going to be stored in the cloud. So if you drop your laptop in a pond, you're still going to have your flashcards. So click sync. And then it's going to ask for your Anki Web ID. So go in and put in your email address. And also your password. The next thing we're going to do is create a deck. So we're going to come down here and we're going to click create deck. Call it whatever you like, but I'm going to call it UniMaths. Now we're only going to use one deck for all of our modules at university because it makes it more likely that you're going to be able to recall them in the exam. If you break them down by deck, then they're more context dependent. Okay, so now we're ready to make some flashcards. So we're going to click on UniMaths here and click add. Now in the top here, in the top left, you've got type of card. There's five different types of cards built into Anki. You can make your own if you want to. But for now, I'm just going to do basic and reverse card. And what that's going to do is going to create two flashcards, one that shows the front where the answer is the back and one that shows the back where the answer is the front. So for my example, I'm going to do quadratic equation. And then on the back of the card, I'm going to put the formula for the quadratic equation. For this, we need to use LaTeX. LaTeX is a maths programming language, which is super easy to pick up and extremely useful. So to start LaTeX code, we're going to do backslash curly brackets. And then we're going to type in the syntax for fraction, which is this, where the first curly brackets is the top of the fraction and the second is the bottom of the fraction. So in the top, we need minus B backslash pm so this is plus or minus and then backslash sqrt which is square root and then everything inside this bracket will be in the square root so b then we need b squared minus 4ac and then on the bottom we just have 2a and then we're going to close later now in anki you need to be careful because double curly brackets mean something in anki so when you're writing LaTeX inside of Anki, you need to break this up by just putting a space in there, but it won't change the code at all. Then if we come up here and click cards, we can preview the card. So we've got quadratic equation, and then on the back of the card, we see quadratic equation and the equation. And then if we come up here, we can look at the other card it's created, where we see the quadratic equation, and then on the back, it shows us that it's called the quadratic equation. Okay, now at the bottom here, you've got tags. So I'm just gonna tag this algebra. It's a good idea to tag your flashcards by the module that they're relevant to. This is so that when you come to revise for your exam, 
you can just study cards with certain tags so you can focus on your module and also allows you to delete cards by tags when you finish one module but haven't finished the other modules okay now the other type of card i want to look at is close so if you go to card type and you do close this time they're not called front and back they're called text and extra most of the time you don't need to use extra we just need to use text okay so i'm going to give an example this is a flash card for the double angle formula so we're going to do cos syntax for cos is backslash cos 2x equals backslash cos squared x minus backslash sine squared x close later now for closed cards i'm going to break up my portions of latex you don't normally need to do this but you'll see why i need to do this in a second now close cards are clever is because they allow you to take one piece of text and create many flashcards from it by hiding the bits you want to hide so for this one we're going to want to hide the first bit so we're going to highlight that and come up here and click this close deletion now what this is going to do is create a flashcard that just hides cards to x so if we go up to cards we can see what that looks like so the front of the card looks like this. You can't see cos 2x, but you can see the answer. And then on the back of the card, you see cos 2x. But then we can do this as many times as we want. So we can also do this for the other side of the equation. So we come here and click close deletion. And then this creates another card that hides this part of the equation. Now you can't see this in the preview because it only shows the first one, but it does say here one of two so we know that there's two flashcards. Okay, close. Now the reason I broke up the LaTeX into lots of different pieces is because you have to have a full LaTeX piece of code inside of your closed deletion. So if it goes outside, then it messes with the code. So you have to break it up like that. One more thing, I'm just gonna make a mistake in my card. I'm gonna change it to plus, and then I'm gonna click add so I can show you how to fix your mistake once you've clicked add. Okay, so we're gonna close the add page we're going to fix that mistake. So if you come to browse, you get to see all of your flashcards. So you can search by type of card or by tags or more simply just by the deck. So if we go to the deck and we find the card that we made a mistake on, then we can come in and change it. So you notice that there's two cards with the double angle formula on. One it represents the card that hides the first bit, and one represents the card that hides the other bit. And if you change one, the other one changes as well. Okay, so now let's go. We're going to go to the settings. So we're going to come here, click options, settings, options. And then we're going to come down here and click bury related new cards until the next day. So if we do that and we click OK. Now cards that were made together, like the double angle formula, where we made two cards for, with one piece of text, they will be separated onto separate days. So it doesn't art artificially make one of the cards easier to remember than the other. Okay, now we're gonna study our cards. So if we click Unimaths and study now, and this is what it looks like. So then either say in your head what you think the answer is, or even better, say out loud, you're more likely to remember it, okay. So once you're ready, you click show answer, and then you decide whether you got it right or not. If you got it wrong, you click again, and you'll see it within less than a minute. If you got it right, you click good, and you'll see it in less than 10 minutes. And if you found it really easy, you click easy, and you won't see this card for four days. So I'm gonna click good, and then we get to the second card, quadratic formula. So I'm gonna show the answer, and I'm gonna click good again. I'm just using the shortcuts where spacebar is show answer, and one, two, and three are, again, good and easy. So then, now we see this card again. Now if we click show answer this time, if we press good, we won't see it until tomorrow, so one day. And same with the quadratic formula. If we press good, we won't see it for one day. Okay, so we've studied the two cards, and the other two cards we created, we will see tomorrow. Right, one final thing is about reviewing your cards. So if you come to here to settings and options, then here you can choose the number of new cards you want to view a day. I suggest starting low with 10 or less 
make it super easy, make it impossible not to get into the habit of studying your cards. And similarly, if you come to reviews, you can set the maximum number of reviews a day. I recommend keeping the new cards low so that then cards that you're supposed to be reviewing don't get pushed to a later date. So maybe just set that at 100 for now. And also click very related reviews until the next day. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. I'm going to make another video about how to memorize your definitions with Anki. So if you'd like to be notified of that, click the subscribe and the bell button. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Ooh.